Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we will configure our outbound campaign. We would create new campaign, and we got to give it a lot of different variables here. First, we'll give it a name. I'll just give this outbound to since I've not used that before. Use this date picker here to pick the days that you want this campaign to run on. I'm going to pick today and tomorrow. Pick the hours that you want the campaign to run on as well, which I'm going to pick the full day. And then here are the forms that we uh, have our choices of. Obviously, I've created a few forms here, but the last one I built there was customer info. There we go. And then you pick your trunk. Now, there's an option usually that says buy dial plan, and that seems to work well. If you know which trunk you need, you could do that specifically. Uh, you pick which queue. If you remember, we built that queue in one of the earlier steps. Uh, the number of retries here is the number of times after you have a failed attempt that the system will go back and try before it just gives up. I usually set that to two. And then this is your call list here. So I'm going to pull up the file that I made earlier. All right, so before I hit go, I have a name, I have a start date, I have a schedule, I have a form, I have a trunk. I have all those other things filled in there. Now this is a script so I could feed this to my agents, whatever I wanted to put there. You get the idea, whatever you want to feed your folks there. And once I do that, I click on save and now I have a campaign that's ready to go. So if you notice I built this outbound too and it's active and um, I could log in now and uh, start making calls. That's what I'll do. Creating a user. Log into your Elastics Manager. Select User Management and you want to do a couple things. You want to first we wanted to create a group just for the call center agents and we'll call them agents. We could give them a name here. We want to change the group permissions by basically going to agents here showing and by default it comes up with no uh, rights enabled for these guys and the only thing that we want to show for them is agent console. So you highlight that one and you click apply. We want to then create a user for the agent, for each of the agents that we want to have login rights for. Give them a password and then assign their default extension. Really if we just give them the rights to log in and see the agent console they don't really need this, but it's a required field, so we have to put it in there. Okay, once you're done with that, you're done with uh, creating a login for the agent. Okay, so let's log in and make some calls. I'm going to type in my agent number, which is 2100, which I created earlier. And then I'm going to pick an extension of the phone I happen to be sitting at. What's really neat about this is it doesn't have to be my phone. I could sit down anywhere as long as I have an extension on the system. And I click OK or enter here and it's going to ring me and I'm going to answer the call I'm going to enter my password and now I'm logged in so now it's going to feed me music on hold and it's going to go out and make a call I have my cell phone and my desk phone set up here to receive the call right now I'm getting a call coming in so I answer the call my system gives me a beep that lets me know that uh, we're on the call and uh, it feeds me some information about who I'm on the call with. So you could see that you're on the phone here with Bob Langies from Medlin Communications. But if I had other data that I was feeding as well, it would list out here as other numbers. So I only put two columns in my configuration file, uh, but I'm able to put more, obviously. And while I'm talking to someone, I could take a look at my script, and I could go to the form here, and I could fill it out. And I'll do that while we're talking here. And I just say give it a date. 
so let's say you know maybe the date is probably not maybe I'm looking for the date that I'm looking to buy something and what am I looking to buy maybe an asterisk phone system maybe I got that information so once I do that I save this I get a confirmation that it was saved and then I could you know okay thank you very much I could transfer the call or I can hang up and go on to the next call which is what I'm gonna do so now I get music on hold again my next call rings out to the public there to answer I get a beep and there's a little bit of lag time between the time that the caller answers and the time that you actually get notified that the caller answers so when you're wording your script or whatever you're gonna say when you pick up the call you wanna have something general you could say for just a few seconds before uh, the calls pass to you just so it goes off smoothly it's not like a predictive dialer application where um, it's uh, it's sensing it um, it'll it'll pick up on answering machines as well so you want to have your script ready so that you could kind of account for that and not seem awkward when the person answers the phone but anyway I could do the same thing here so I got my script in case I forget what it is and my form here maybe I think this is a great prospect but it's gonna be you know 2010 at the end of the year so like most of my sales um, maybe they're interested in a Toshiba phone system and they have a limited budget that never happens I save that that was saved I'm done with them I can hang up and if I have more calls coming they'll feed me more calls on this particular campaign though I'm out of calls because I only enter two things I disconnect there and uh, then I'm ready to take a look at what the results were for those calls So once I'm done with the campaign, I could go through, and even actually any calls that are done, not the whole campaign, but I could go through and take a look, and it gives me the information as far as the phone number that was dialed, uh, the customer name, if I had address uh, information, it would be there, what's the status, it's either success or failure, agent number, date, and then it gives me the things that I filled out in my form. So I had, in my form, I had a date, I had a service interest, and I had a general notes and uh, if I had more things in the form it would show up there too so it's a great way to collect your data and then this is just in Microsoft Excel because it saves as a CSV but you could import that into a database and manipulate that all you want there's also some basic reporting built into the system and you can take a look you can see there's a if I had break set up I have uh, basically some break time so you get an idea of who's uh, available and who's not I get some idea in terms of call detail report so I could see what's going on I get a calls per hour and it's basically you could choose from incoming or outgoing calls and I see uh, I'm not a very productive call center agent there but uh, you do get the data so you could determine that you could determine calls by agent so when you have multiple people you're able to see what they're doing hold time obviously you know what that is log in and log out is how many times I log in and log out um, and then also I could do things like see this graphic report see ingoing and outgoing calls and uh, you'll have a lot more data of course when you have more agents working away but it's uh, some basic reporting and it's just included with the product so uh, it's worth taking a look there are more advanced reporting packages that are, that are out there as well uh, if you do need more detail